Alright, so this poem is called Thoughts. You shroud your mind in darkness, you constrict and restrict to the confines of time. You tell yourself, I'm feeling fine, I'm feeling fine. Losing yourself in the inky pages, when really they become cages for your thoughts. Thoughts you cannot manage to jot down, writing them makes them real. You cannot bear for them to lose their vicarious appeal. It's easier to conceal emotions and feelings so that they stay mere glimpses of thoughts. Thoughts so terrible that you cannot jot them down. You drown in the overwhelming, smothering obsessions, addictions never to be made into confessions, reckless decisions, hallucinogenic visions, compromised promises you made to yourself, to your family. You let the calamity destroy and control you. You're on a path of self-destruction, but think of it as some sort of self-construction. Spending your nights with blood-soaked thighs, exhaling smoky sighs of relief when you come up to your high. No one mentions all the warning signs you give. You sign it. For, they silently forgive your lashing out. They simply cannot bear to believe you deceive them so much. You steal to get your fix. It's not even a fix, it's a crutch. And the end per set is a fair weather friend. Your lies have become a trend, routinely constructing them about where you've been, what you ate, that you're okay. Tomorrow is the day you'll fix it all. Tomorrow is always the day you'll get better. But tomorrow is the day the pallbearer lowers you down six feet below ground where there is no tomorrow, but at least you'll be safe and sound.